Hello, all, and welcome to the BAM Movement Group, otherwise known as the Black Arts Movement Group. Um, we are going to be focusing on the Harlem Renaissance today, and we have some great presenters featuring Jeremiah Williams, Colin Ganey, Victor Griego, Aiden Alcala, and of course, Jared Lanton. So let's dive right into this and let us introduce the BAM Movement. Okay, let's dive right in. The BAM movement and Langston Hughes. BAM, as I said before, stands for Black Arts Movement. The Black Arts Movement was a Black nationalism movement that focused on music, literature, drama, and the visual arts made up of Black artists and intellectuals. Langston Hughes, an American writer, would be the most perfect example of this BAM movement. He was an important figure in the Harlem Renaissance, and he made the African-American experience the subject of his writings, which ranged from poetry and plays to novels and newspaper columns. Langston Hughes made his mark in this artistic movement by breaking boundaries with his poetry and the Renaissance's lasting legacy. Langston Hughes and his influence on the Harlem Renaissance during the Harlem Renaissance, which took place roughly from the 1920s to the mid thirties, Langston Hughes flourished as public interest, resulting in his work being popular. He drew on international experiences, inspired young artists, stood up for black artists through his works and writing, and overall influenced how the Harlem Renaissance would be remembered to this day. He wrote articles about how the black artists shared European influences with their white counterparts and were therefore producing the same kind of work. He broke new ground in poetry when he began to write first and incorporated how black people talk and the jazz and blues music they played. In his autobiography, The Big Sea, which was written in 1940, he provided a first-hand account of the Harlem Renaissance. His description of the people, art, and goings-on would influence how the movement was understood and remembered. Overall, Langston Hughes is more than an artist during this time. He was a figure that changed how the Harlem Renaissance would be remembered forever. The Last Poets are the true godfathers of hip hop. The Last Poets' politically charged poetry inspired a new wave of artists worldwide. The Last Poets is the name for several groups of poets and musicians who arose from the late 1960s African American Civil Rights Movement. Their politically structured raps and rhymes, as well as their dedication to raising awareness for all, including African Americans, the Last Poets pretty much single handedly laid the groundwork for the emergence of hip hop as we know it today. The importance of the BAM movement on hip hop. The BAM movement is unique among movements because of its ability to inspire other artistic movements to fight social and political reform. This movement originated in Northeastern United States and rapidly traveled worldwide, inspiring a new wave of artists. It's important to note that Black arts has always been present despite the portrayal of the media. Black arts is rooted from anger felt by African Americans expressed through hip hop. Hip hop was the way to bring public awareness. Hip hop challenged mainstream media and its ideals, rooting at the source of these ongoing issues. One of the main groups that was inspired by the band movement was a tribe called Quest. A tribe called Quest. A tribe called Quest is a hip hop slash rap group that originated in Queens, New York. Members of the group include Q-Tip, Five Dog, Ali Shaheed Muhammad, and Jarobi White. The tribe is a group that is considered to be a child of the Black Arts Movement and Harlem Renaissance, with songs like Verses of the Abstract and Check the Run that have a rhythm that replicates the art from BAM. Our next slide is an analysis of their song, Verses of the Abstract.
In this slide, we give an example of the Black arts movement in music through a tribe called Quests, verses from the abstract. The portion of the video we are using begins at 1 minute 25 seconds, but we encourage you to listen to the full song in your free time. Born up in Harlem, reside out in Jamaica. The girl I used to rock, her mom's was a faker. And what does that make her? The evil money taker, the crazy move faker. I use that to break her. Fight is in the house. Uncle Mike is in the house. Bob Power is in the house. Simulacrum is in the house. As we put this presentation to a close, we would like to provide you with an activity that may take up to three to five minutes to complete. For this activity, you will need to search up and listen to a song by either A Tribe Called Quest or The Last Poets. During and after listening to the song, jot down words that come to mind or lines that stuck out to you. Also, express how the song made you feel and how it may connect to poetry.